All right, I'm on hole number 17 of the Cliff Top Links Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. So we got here. All right. This is the only hole in this particular tournament that in this account, I'm bringing a Kingmaker. I'm bringing the Kingmaker strictly for the curl, or excuse me, strictly for the side spin. I'm bringing my accurate bag, but I'm gonna switch this stuff up. I'm gonna bring my Saturn and I'm gonna bring a claw. I'm using the claw instead of a thorn because the claw is more accurate. And accuracy is a big deal when you're in your short iron. It's one of the, I'm bringing this club because of backspin. So backspin is what we need. But then my next thing is, is whichever backspin club I have, it's got the most accuracy, that's the one I want to bring. So I'm going to bring my... I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to keep, if I end up in the sand, I'm not going to be able to get on anyway. So I'm going to bring my machete. So if I end up in the rough, I at least have a shot. What kind of distance I get? 101. I'm losing a lot of distance here. But if I end up way down there in the rough and I can get up there with my machete, it has the backspin I'm looking for. And just in case, even though if I get in my guardian range, something went seriously wrong, I'm going to bring it just so that I can have peace of mind. And I've got a kingmaker. Now I've been at the beginning of the week there's a sand trap up here on the right the first sand trap you encounter and I was if you look at it from the left hand side and look at it, I was trying to put my white ring even with the bottom of that sand trap that gave me tons of room for my curl and side spin to engage to get me way down there in the middle but what I found was is I was kind of in between clubs and so to give myself I had about two and so I was actually pulling back a little so I I'm going right to my red line which puts me about two rings up into this sand and that gets me a little, nets me a little more distance down here. But what it does is, is it makes it harder to get around the bend because you're deeper into the hole. So it gives you a much better sh chance of clipping the rough and ending up in the rough up here if you hit it great to the left. So by doing this shot, I'm, I've got, I'm gonna give myself enough room off the rough on the setup that I could hit a great to the right. But I'm also trying to give myself enough room so that if I hit a great to the left, I won't get caught up in the rough over here. When I was a little further back, I had a little more breathing room. I could probably hit a two ring great to the left and still make the fairway. So I'm right. Blue ring off. You can kind of see when you look here, I'm about two, two and a half, three rings up into that. So that means I have to, I have to get a little more in order to get around that corner. So it's a 3.5 3.5 rings. All the curl. Hitting it perfect. Now watch where it lands right here. Got plenty of room. I left myself plenty of room for that curl to engage and I, and I was easily able to get past that rough up there. The further back I would have went if I would have stayed where I was earlier on in the week where I was back where my white ring was even with the bottom of the sand up there. It, it just makes that shot so much safer getting down into the hole. So if you're having problems with that, pull back a little bit so that you're not, if you're the deeper you are in the hole, the more you're taking your risk of landing in this rough or ending up in the sand, but typically the rough right here. So pull back a little, set your white ring up on there and go for that shot. and and just expect that you'll probably end up being in your long iron range. What I was finding is I was actually in between clubs, especially when I brought a katana here. I tried this hole with a katana. You can use a katana all day long. You can use a quasar all day long, but you're gonna be taking this shot right here with your long iron. And what I wanna do is take this shot with my short iron, because my short iron is more accurate and you're closer up. I'm gonna start just on the left-hand side of the cup. It's 1.7 per ring, so that leaves me about, eh, it's about a ring and a half. Hitting it perfect, give myself a look. I got a look here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> 
that's the deal is is when you come to these holes you're not going to pick up all of those shots but if you watch my videos i try and give myself that type of look every time and the hope is is that you'll get just that little teeny bit of luck and you'll get some of those to drop and that that's the difference between being up at the top of the brackets and being in the mid bracket is is giving yourself that look every time so that you have that opportunity every single hole that you get to to pick up a shot if your expectation is that you're going to pick up all those shots and you get ticked because you don't pick them up and you get frustrated then you're going to carry that to the next hole and you know it's going to diminish around i don't go to these holes thinking hey i'm going to make this every time because i put myself in the right spot and i did everything right and i'm going to make that shot that's not how it works I mean, you're not going to make that shot every time, but I gave myself that look. I'm upset when I when I mess up and I don't give myself the look. Hit it great. I'm so close to the hole right there that the ring set was uh, smaller than the flagpole, so that shot would have been very hard to miss. All right, that was hole number 17 of the Clifftop Links Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.